Hello, and welcome to Time Drops. In this video, I want to show how to set up and use the STC-1 timing controller. The STC-1 has an internal lithium battery that is rated for 10 hours of operation. The battery is charged with a USB-C cable and can be charged from any phone charger or USB computer port. A full charge will take about 4 hours. The yellow LED will indicate that the battery is charging. Green means fully charged. To turn on the controller, simply press the power button. The blue LED will flash if the controller is communicating with any nearby time drops buttons. The red LED indicates the Wi-Fi connection. A slow single flash means that the controller is not connected to any Wi-Fi. A slow double flash means that the controller is connected to Wi-Fi, but cannot communicate with the tablet. Let's find out why the controller is not communicating. I open the menu and select Connect Controller. The connection screen shows a sad face, which means the controller is not connected. I click Query Hub status to find out which Wi-Fi network the controller is connected to. As you can see, the tablet and the controller are connected to different Wi-Fi networks. To fix this, I can either choose a different network for the tablet, or I can transfer the tablet's Wi-Fi credentials to the controller. To do this, I tap the Copy to Controller button. I now enter the password for the tablet's network. The transmission may take up to a minute. Sometimes the transmission may fail. There are some troubleshooting tips on the page. You may have to restart the tablet. Once the controller has joined the new Wi-Fi network and is communicating with the tablet, the face will turn into a smiley. You can now see that the red LED is flashing rapidly, which indicates a working connection. The controller is now ready to use. The controller will turn off automatically 10 minutes after I exit the Time Drops app on the tablet. But it is also possible to turn off the controller manually. Just push and hold the power button for about 5 seconds until the blue and the red LED flash simultaneously. Then release the button. In the unlikely event that the controller is frozen or not working correctly, you can perform a reset by pressing and holding the power button for about 10 seconds. The blue and red LED will first flash rapidly. Continue to hold until the controller restarts. In this last section, I will show how to perform a factory reset on the STC-1. You should only do this in case of severe problems or if advised to do so by time drop support. As before, I press and hold the power button until the controller restarts. I continue to hold, and the red and blue LED will flash alternating. If I hold for another 20 seconds, eventually the blue LED will flash while the red LED remains on. Now I release the button and the controller will perform a forced firmware update from the tablet. The tablet app will show the progress of the update. At the end of the update, the controller will restart automatically. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.